But Mexico is in some trouble. Mexico looks like they're in some deep, deep doo-doo. I replaced the colonizers with the colonies, or at least the independent versions of those colonies. The HRE is now being led by Australia, with Quebec and Zealandia making up the French and Lowlands regions. Brazil and Mexico will now make up Iberia, and of course, the US will be taking over Great Britain. The colonial game is certainly going to look different in this timeline. It's hard to say exactly what will happen, but I am looking forward to seeing how it ends up. So who you got your money on? I think that Mexico is in a really good spot, same with Brazil, but I don't think they'll necessarily go colonial, and I don't think the US will go colonial either, so we may see a very boring new world. Australia is still the Holy Roman Empire. It may be business as usual, just with different tags, but uh, we'll see how it goes. You guys know the drill, speed five, unpause. And as is tradition, I deleted the natives because um, this patch, they're terrible and uh, they're just a menace and they make colonization horrible and the AI is incapable of getting anything done. So I got rid of them. I've gotten some comments in the past saying like, it actually makes sense that the federations would take up three quarters of the country. And to that, I would say, um, no, 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 they wouldn't. You're wrong. <laughs> US and Brazil are BFFs, but I actually think that that's from before this when it was England and Portugal. Australia has Hungary, Baden, and Lanshut. And I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but Zealandia is up here in Holland, allied to Provence. Quebec has no friends. And about 20 years in, things are looking pretty good for those involved. Mexico, absolutely munching on Brazil, eating like half of their development, as well as it looks like they were at war with the US, getting a little bit of land over here in Southern France. Quebec has popped off, taken over most of the French mainland. And the U.S. is pushed over into Ireland. And I do have to say, seeing the United States written on Great Britain, I know a lot of British people are offended by this, but it's poetic, you know? The empire strikes back sort of deal. <laughs> the U.S. and Quebec are actually at war right now. Quebec has attacked them for a reconquest because remember, they still have the French cores. Australia looks like they're going to keep the emperorship whenever their leader dies. So for now, the empire is stable. And Zealandia is just chilling. They're not really doing much. Laying low, you know, low profile. I respect that, I do. First idea groups, US took economic, Quebec took diplomatic, Mexico also took economic, Brazil went with religious, Australia, economic, and Zealandia, you guessed it, economic. <laughs> this might truly be the most cursed timeline. Quebec has embraced its inner French and become France. I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel so good about this. I kind of feel a little sick, to be honest with you. So far, we're eight years past the turn of the century, and it doesn't look like colonialism is going to spawn anytime soon. <laughs> Using little Bermuda over here, we did have colonialism end up spawning via Mexico. But it does look like the United States indeed went exploration, as well as Mexico. So we are actually going to see a colonial game. Mexico's actually down here in the uh, West African coast. And with the Reformation looking the way it does... It's probably going to be pretty tough for Australia to pass many more reforms. Oh, what am I talking about? Australia isn't even the HRE emperor anymore. It is uh, Mecklenburg. France went with eco quantity, so they're probably going to be pretty strong. Now, this doesn't have anything to do with what I've changed for this save, but for some reason, the Ottomans are just not pushing into the Levant. They're just leaving the Mamluks alone, and the Mamluks are big and strong over here in Arabia all the way down into Egypt. Timmy is also still around with his subjects all very disloyal, so I don't know for how long. Ming is currently in the process of collapsing entirely, so nothing new there. And it appears that VJ has come out as the preeminent power of India, with Bengal looking to contest that as well. I feel like we've been seeing Bengal very big and very strong in basically every single video that we've done in the past month or so, so I don't know. What kind of nations do you guys generally see that are strong every single game? For me, it feels like it's either the Ottomans or Bengal. But the United States is almost done consolidating the British Isles, and they are colonizing down here off the coast of West Africa, as well as they also have Cape Verde, so they are doing it. If the U.S. colonized the East Coast, what would their colonial nation be? The usual name is New and then their name, so would it be New United States if they get over here? That would be absolutely so funny. I would love that. Sadly, still nobody on the mainland over here in the New World. Though I do think it's kind of funny that this Chichi Mecca guy started over here and they've just migrated up into the interior just because there's no natives to compete with. So we have an Ottomans in Southern Italy and Sicily, and it looks like Mexico has popped out Valencia, likely from a war that they have lost recently. Not such a good look for you guys. I apologize if you guys can hear uh, some fireworks. It's the 4th of July when I'm recording this. But Mexico is in some trouble. Mexico looks like they're in some deep, deep doo-doo. Not only are they in two wars at the same time, but they are defender in both of them. Tunis attacked them with Morocco as their ally, and then France attacked them for lands in the north. Well, I wasn't expecting it, but it appears that we have a Sealy as the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. 
leading the Catholic League against a very, very, very big Protestant League. Major hitters are the U.S., Ottomans, Muscovy, Denmark, and basically everybody in the HRE outside of the Emperor. Catholics have France, Brazil, Poland, Brandenburg, and Lithuania. Now, the League War has been going on for a few years now, and um, it doesn't look too good for the Catholics. The Protestants have pieced out basically everybody outside of the Emperor and a couple of other random tags. It's only a matter of time before Protestantism is enforced as the official faith. In the meantime, America has been colonizing a bit of islands over here in the Indian Ocean. That's about it, honestly. Oh, yo, so the Mamluks actually intervened on behalf of the Catholics. You can see they're actually laying the smack down over here, occupying quite a bit of land in Anatolia. But uh, it's not going to do a whole lot because the war score definitely going in the Protestants' favor. I just want to point out that we are 200 years into this game, and Zealandia's borders haven't changed at all. Not one province that I'm aware of. Maybe this one here, maybe this one, but aside from that, it hasn't changed at all. They don't even have quantity ideas, and they are rocking 52,000 troops. The development in Europe is absolutely bonkers. Sardinia has been exiled from Sardinia up to Piedmont. So maybe you could even call it a Sardinia Piedmont, right? This is weird though. You don't see the Ottomans in Italy that often, I feel. Like maybe since Austria didn't get the PU on Hungary, it opened up some expansion routes from the Ottomans this direction. We have a nice big beefy shun, but they are actually not the empire of China. Liang here is the empire of China. Don't ask me why, that's just how it is. Also, Korea and Japan are duking it out right now. Japan doing pretty good. Fully united for the most part. And it does look like Vijayanagar is the preeminent power here over in um, India. I don't know how Timmy did it, but it looks like he managed to make his disloyal subjects loyal. At least loyal enough to integrate them. He's having a good game. They just need to make their way over here to Delhi and they can actually form the Mughals. I don't know about you guys. I always love seeing an AI Mughals get informed. But the Ottomans just haven't moved down into the Levant hardly at all. Like, they've taken a few provinces from the Mamluks, but it's really not that bad. And there it is. Quantity Ottomans. And if you don't know, Quantity gives you 50% land force limit to your modifier. And uh, the Ottoman Ambition gives a further 33%. So, Ottomans are big. Over a half a million big, in fact. So big that they felt confident attacking a Russia because they only have a quarter of a million men. Actually, just mind-boggling numbers. There's so many wars going on right now, and there are so many men in the field. Look at this, dude. A quarter of a million infantry alone. 215,000 cannons the Ottomans have. Like, crazy. Absolute just crazy numbers. And you either love to see it or you hate to see it. But Austria proper, or should we call it Australia proper, has been taken over by Poland. Vienna is a uh, Polish core. France has been slowly expanding into the north and into the south. All the while, the HRE is just losing more and more land outside of the empire. Oh, and it looks like they actually revoked one of the reforms as well. So the HRE is not feeling too good at the moment. So quite a lot has changed in the last hundred years or so. It looks like I was wrong about the Ottomans. They have definitely expanded into the Mamluks, basically expelling them to Nubia and Arabia. The Mughals formed, but it looks like they are getting outdone by the Ottomans, if you can believe it. The Ottomans have one million troops which is crazy, and they are actually the economic hegemon of the world, with over a thousand development more than Russia, who's number two. France is having a good game. <laughs> I'm still disappointed that uh, Quebec formed them, but it is what it is. And Mexico is getting absolutely clobbered by Brazil. They already had all their islands taken from them by Tunis as well as the Ottomans, and now Brazil is just coming in and taking over the rest. As far as colonization goes, the only thing we're really seeing is Phrygia is over here in the Caribbean, and somehow, Mamluks have a couple of provinces inland in Mexico, which is actually Texas. Uh, what, what I really don't understand what the game is doing right here, but apparently that's what it's doing. I don't know where these natives came from either. They just kind of popped out of the ground. So, um, I don't know. More power to them, I suppose. Shun is now the emperor of China, despite getting eaten by Russia and the Mughals, with Russia pushing almost all the way to Nanjing, which is crazy. Vijay and Bengal splitting India as expected. And any of you guys that were around back in the Drew Dernal days, when he did a lot of videos similar to this, are going to recognize this. Mamluki in Australia used to happen in every single one of his videos, and I actually get so much nostalgia just seeing it here. Ooh, there's a pretty rare tag here. We've got Zimbabwe. I actually don't know if I've seen them form naturally very much at all, to be honest with you. Very cool, though. They've got decent ideas, pretty solid military ideas. Yeah, these guys are pretty strong. They even have great project upgrade costs in their national ideas, so that's how you know they're a newer tag. And after it's all said and done, things look a little interesting. 
you're going to notice that Mexico was kicked out of Iberia. I say kicked out of Iberia because they do still exist over here <laughs> in a 24 development province in the middle of Oceania. Zealandia still exists, albeit not really in any major capacity. The HRE exists. The emperor is Alsace with uh, Geneva, the only elector. Grand Electoral Republic. I like that name. That's good. Losing 1.3 imperial authority per month. So safe to say not a good game for the HRE. And Brazil ended up eating about half of Spain with France. So good on them. The colonial game ended up being a little less varied than I was expecting, but um, I'm okay with this. Frisian Brazil, Frisian Peru, Frisian La Plata, American Peru, and my favorite iteration of Colombia, American Colombia. Now, in this timeline, the DEA didn't need to infiltrate. This is the DEA. They run the country. Pablo got nothing on the American Colombians. Frisian Mexico also formed. Frisian Louisiana. They got New Friesland over here, as well as up here, and then Frisian Canada as well. Russia ended up taking military hegemon, so good on them. We've got Ottomans, Russia, Poland, Delhi at a close fourth, France, Mughals, the US, and Brazil. Despite the fact that the Protestants won the League War, Catholic is definitely dominant, with hardly any Protestant provinces in the entire world. I'm curious who formed Delhi, because Delhi didn't even exist last time I looked, and they ate all of Bengal and all of Vijayanagar almost. Also, Russia is just massive. This is like the biggest AI Russia I've seen in a long time, so good on them. But if you guys enjoyed that and you'd like to see more stuff like this in the future, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe for more because there is a lot of content that you're missing out on if you're not subscribed. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, so if you want to share it with a friend, I would appreciate that as well. For as little as $5 a month, you can get early access to every single video that comes out on this channel, and I definitely recommend you check that out linked in the description below. And if you want to join my Discord, my subreddit, or my Twitter, they're all linked in the description as well. But that's about all I've got for you for today, so till next time, guys. Stay chill.